Wow, just the power of that storm. And right now, Ida has been downgraded to a tropical storm. Winds are 60 miles per hour. It's moving out of southeastern Louisiana into southern Mississippi, and it will continue to move through Mississippi today with those very strong rain bands. Our forecast back home, mostly cloudy to start. You might see a shower or a sprinkle this morning. I do think most of the day is dry, although I won't rule out an afternoon or evening shower or thunderstorm. Highs today, 88 degrees, warm and humid. Tonight, a cold front slowly sags south. It kind of sits right on top of us, so not much change. 70 to 74 with mostly cloudy skies overnight. And tomorrow, look at that, not as humid. The humidity drops ever so slightly. I think you will notice it, though, by afternoon. It'll feel a little bit better temporarily. 80 to 84 tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Here's a look at your currents. We have 72 out the door in Lebanon. Good morning, Harrisburg, 75. 70 for York, 66 right now in Lewistown. So our feels like forecast today, yeah, it's warm, it's muggy, the same thing we've been seeing. There is a slight drop tomorrow. Back up to muggy with rain from Ida on Wednesday, but look at Thursday. I haven't said comfy in a long time. It feels like a month since we've had some real nice, comfortable air moving in, and you're going to notice that as we head into Labor Day weekend. Right now on Super Doppler 8, I was watching some showers. They have since dried up right as they move toward Lewistown, so I'm still not going to rule out a shower or sprinkle some haze or fog around this morning under most mostly cloudy skies, but right now this cold front that I'm talking about is back toward Cleveland. So here's what the predictor shows. Maybe a morning shower. That's about it. Pretty uneventful weather today. Slim chance of a shower or thunderstorm toward evening. Cold front sags south. You'll notice the slightly lower humidity tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies. And then follow this side of your screen. Here comes the remnants of Ida coming our way Tuesday night into Wednesday. When you see reds, yellows, oranges there on the predictor, that is some intense heavy rainfall. And that's what I think we're going to see during the day on Wednesday. So for that reason, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for our area throughout the day Wednesday. We're we're going to be watching for flooding, uh, small streams and creeks, poor drainage areas, urban areas, and of course flash flooding possible too. We also may see some rises on our larger rivers because the ground is so saturated from recent rainfall. So here's a look at the 10 day forecast. We have that impact day for you on Wednesday due to the risk of flooding from Ida. Thursday, Ida's out of here. It's 76 degrees, not bad. Friday, 78, feeling very comfortable. Saturday and Sunday still looking good, although a little stickier Sunday into Monday. But then I see some more 70s returning for the first full week of September. It looks like we just flipped a switch. And the comfy weather's here, Lori. It does. All of a sudden, September, and boom, look at what we got. All right, looking forward to that.